Today, I want to give you a Utah housing market update. Hi, I'm David Pastana, broker owner of Rise Realty, where we help you succeed in real estate. Thanks for watching this episode of the Rise Realty video blog. I really appreciate your support. As you watch this video, please like, comment, or subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear what you have to say and appreciate your support. Well, I want to start with the most important question everyone wants to know is how much appreciation has there been in the market? So let's look on a national level. This image shows a year over year percent appreciation in price by state. The orange states are appreciating less than 3%. The light blue are three to 7.9% and the dark blue are over 8%. There are seven states that have appreciated over 8%. And Utah is in one of those. In fact, Utah has appreciated 8.8% over the last 12 months. That's extraordinary for the state of Utah and very healthy for the real estate economy. It is showing that we are truly in a past recovery or in a growth stage for our market. And now people are gaining equity again in their homes, which they have not had for several years. Now I wanna get a little closer into our, our local market, which is Utah County. This image represents the year-over-year -year growth of homes in Utah County. We've been growing since 2011, third quarter of 2011. Currently today, our average home price is $269,000. That's up $15,000 from last year, which is a 5.9% increase in the housing market. So what's driving all this growth? Well, it has something uh, to do with what we call absorption rate. That is the balance between buyers and sellers, or supply and demand. The, the sellers are the supply of homes and the buyers create the demand. And right now we have very strong demand. I wanna show you a graph that describes this. If we had no new housing that came onto the market, the question is, is how long would it take for all the current buyers to buy all the existing homes if no new homes came on the market? If that number is greater than seven months, that is called a buyer's market. It's taking too long for homes to sell and the sellers get desperate or frustrated. And so they're more likely to reduce their home price and negotiate when a buyer comes. That's why it's a buyer's market. The buyer has more leverage in their negotiation because the seller knows that the buyers are limited. A neutral market is one in which there's a balance of buyers and sellers. That's happened somewhere between six and seven months of inventory. So if no new homes came on the market, it would take six to seven months to sell them all. And that creates basically a stagnant market where the prices aren't really going up and they're not going down either. However, Utah and really most of the United States is in a seller's market. This happens when there's less than six months of home inventory on the market. Now to make this even more poignant, there is actually less than two months of inventory in Utah right now. So if no new homes came on the market in less than two months, all the homes would be sold. In fact, if you're in the market, you've probably seen that where home value or homes that you're looking to buy, you're seeing multiple offers. That's happening because the inventory is so scarce we have to compete against each other as buyers in order to get the house we want. And that's what's driving our home prices. So that was your market update. We help you succeed in real estate by understanding what's going on in the market. Home prices are going up. It is, demand is very high. And it is, a, it is not just a healthy market. It is a growing real estate market right now. There's a lot of opportunity to make wealth and people are taking advantage of that. Thanks for watching this episode of our video blog. Please like, comment, subscribe to our videos. We appreciate your, your support and everything that you say, and we'll get back to you with any questions that you have.